Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. Today is Monday, December the 4th. We're off to Magic Kingdom. It's currently 7.50 in the morning. We said we'd be at the bus stop by 8 o'clock to meet Mum and Dad. We might be a couple minutes late. Disney timings. They're always off. Little Mermaid bound again today. This is the bag I'm hoping that Ariel will sign for me. I do have two Sharpies, a red and a purple. If she doesn't, that's fine. But it's worth an ask, isn't it? It's always worth asking. We have breakfast at the Crystal Palace, which is character dining, and it's a buffet. We haven't done it in so long. I can't wait. I'm pretty sure it's Winnie the Pooh characters, so hopefully we see Pooh Bear himself, Tigger, Piglet's normally there, and I'm pretty sure Eeyore's there too. The bus is full, but we're at the front of the queue now, so we get first dibs on the next bus. <laughs> Morning. Yeah. There's no one else on the bus. King of the bus. Yay. groups for Tron. My fault, completely forgot, but there is another one that opens at 1pm. Now we're doing Magic Kingdom on a Monday, mainly because we like to try and avoid Magic Kingdom and Epcot to a certain extent on a weekend, because they can get incredibly busy, each to their own, but we just prefer to do the other parks on a weekend, because they are, for the most part, quieter than these ones. Magic Kingdom. I got the right line, didn't I? Yeah. I just Googled it. It's Christmas on Main Street, USA. Holy moly. The decorations, the toy soldiers. I love it. The music they're playing as well. Oh, we're gonna see the castle. We're gonna see the castle. Huh? The tree. The tree. The tree. Beautiful. I love seeing the Christmas parades when the Nutcrackers are walking. There's an opening! Are you ready for the castle? The Cinderella castle. Are you ready to see her? In all her glory. <gasps> Look, there she is. Isn't she beautiful? I'm looking up. Isn't she beautiful? To maybe watch the show. Yeah, they said there's going to be a small show soon when they because it's just before nine, and there was an announcement to say all of the lands will open at nine o'clock and to make your way to Cinderella Castle.
It's now time for Crystal Palace, which is located, okay, there's Cinderella Castle. If you turn left, next to Adventureland, it's just there. And it is buffet style as well. The food's really good in there for a buffet. I'm so excited. I think we check in at the front desk and then we wait to be called to go inside. Oh my goodness, there's Tigger. We have. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. Oh, look, there's a Christmas Tigger. Okay, we need to find the table. sweet we love it in there we love Pooh Bear anyway I do that but Leo's tall I need to angle too we're now gonna make our way to New Fantasyland I'm gonna go and meet Ariel in my aerial bound and then we may very well ride Ariel's ride I can hear Dapper Dan's I think they're out singing in front of the castle we'll have to try and catch them at some point we love the Dapper Dan's we're gonna walk down the side of the castle through Fantasyland Enchanted Tales with Belle, that's kind of like an interactive part. Some of the audience get picked to act out as characters from the story. Beast's Castle, that's a dining location. You can definitely have lunch and dinner in there. I don't know if they still do breakfast. They used to. Ooh. Oh, this is a lovely Disney rock. Look at that lovely rock. Is it? Oh, no. Well, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is on the other side of it. That's what I was going to show before we went to the rock. Yeah, to, uh, Look at the cat. We there. did. We had wedding pictures here. We actually ate our wedding dinner in there as well. But you do have to have a reservation. Yeah. Thank you. We are going to meet Ariel. Oh my goodness. And then we might go on her ride after. Right now. We've just got in the queue. It said it's going to be an hour, so we'll see what it actually is. Yes, of course. Where would you like me to go? 
she signed my line. I'm telling you, you've just seen it. We have a return time for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Oh, actually, we got in to see Ariel. It was about a 50 minute wait. It wasn't the whole 60, it was more like 50. So now we're going on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. We do have a return time for this one, so it should hopefully maybe only be a 10, 15 minute wait. I really like this one. It's just a fun build. The, the wait for Pooh Bear right now was only about 30 minutes as well. So that's really good. There are some Jingle Cruise, because it's Christmas, so Jungle Cruise is a Christmas overlay. That's a two and a half hour wait. Or it was last time we checked anyway. Two and a half hours. I mean, if we can get a return time, that's great, but if not, we have got another Magic Kingdom day coming up though, so there's no like stress or pressure to get everything done today. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I'm walking into the sun without my sunglasses, so apologies. Also, you've seen my other videos. The ice stream has returned today, which is not appreciated at all, but I've met Ariel now, so I'm okay. We have got a return time for Pirates. We love Pirates. We're gonna go on the People Mover. It's just a sit down track. Last time, I, actually, last time we were on the People Mover, we had to be oh, evac'd yeah. off. Yeah. So hopefully this time we can make it the full loop. We're ready to move some people. It's 12.37. I've got an alarm set to remind me to try and get a boarding group for Tron at one o'clock. Because the first one opens at seven, which we missed, and the next one opens at one. So I've got quite a few different medical issues and when they cancel one of your DAS return time Oh, I managed to get Tron for 141 as well group If they cancel one of your DAS reservations, then you kind of get a free lightning lane now I think there's some exceptions. Does it tell me? Uh, details here we go Okay, so it was for pirates, but pirates is down right now find out where you can go so barnstormer big thunder Buzz, Dumbo, oh Haunted Mansion, Small World, Aladdin, Winnie the Pooh, Pirates, that's what we wanted it for. Under the Sea, oh and kind of, oh no Jungle Cruise isn't included, we wanted to do that one as well. We'll see what we can do. This Christmas shop is one of a few locations where you can custom Mickey ears. So I need to find some Mickey ears to custom, but I'm definitely doing that. We're headed over to Haunted Mansion because we can use that kind of free lightning lane on there. And we like Haunted Mansion. And at the moment it said it was a 50 minute wait too. Johnny's had a granola bar. No, it's, it's been like that. <laughs> Almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm. 
and consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. Jono, if you're watching, watch your step. Oh yes. And no flash pictures, please. Spirits are frightfully sensitive to bright lights. It's getting very busy. We can't get back on Pirates, it seems to be down. So we have a return time for Jungle, Jingle Cruise instead. So we're gonna do Jingle Cruise. And then we might hop over to Disney Springs. We've not been over to Disney Springs yet. And there are so many shops over there. If the floor is wet on a dry day, it means the camel is spitting. So if you don't wanna get wet, stay away. Jingle Cruise! Jingle Cruise because it's Christmas time.
we like the Jingle Cruise and we like Skipper Kelly. She's fun. It is three o'clock right now. We forgot that there are no buses to Disney Springs from the parks. Or well, there's none listed anyway, there's none listed. So we are taking the walkway over to the Contemporary Resort. We considered the monorail, but we're gonna be back and we'll do a full monorail loop. So we're walking over to the Contemporary Resort to bus it over to Disney Springs because World of Disney is the biggest Disney store you can find. So they will have all the merch. There are two, there are still two pairs of ears that I'm after. I've not seen them anywhere yet. I have a feeling they probably are sold out so I might not get them. That's fine. But you never know. There might be other things that we see that aren't on the shopping list. You know what I'm like by now. I love a good shop. Pink monorail has momentarily stopped. Oh, it started again. See? Because I said it. Look, monorail, There's another monorail. Monorail. Oh, I can't tell. It's blocked out. What is it? Oh, no. Can I see it going down that way? I think that one's gold. There is also a monorail loop between Magic Kingdom and Epcot. So we're probably going to do that at some point as well. We've changed our minds. We're coming into the contemporary real quick because I seem to remember that they have really nice snacks and it's that time of day when a small drink and a sit down. Oh, smell the smell of this dessert. The smell of this dessert? Deluxe resort. <laughs> oh, I love it. This place is beautiful and it's decorated so nicely as well for Christmas. You know I'm going in that gift shop later. I will film it for you all, have no fear. But first, snackies in the Contempo Cafe. Oh, there's a cruise ship there. We just got off the Disney Wish. Look at this mural as well. This resort is huge. A monorail s'mores brownie? That might happen. That looks so nice. Look at this. Leo's gone for like a four cheese sandwich and a bit of soup. I went with a kid's meal. It's just like a, it's effectively pasta bolognese but with turkey instead of beef. And we had to get this. It's a monorail s'more brownie. Complete with monorail on the top. We didn't want to have like a full sit down after having such a big breakfast, so just a little snack. It's the gingerbread house for the contemporary resort. Leo just said there are 12 hidden Mickeys. Oh, 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 okay, okay. There is one. There is two. Uh, there is three behind Minnie. There's another one. There's four. That's five. Oh, 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 six. I've seen six. Ah, ah, I've seen another one. Seven. Okay, so far we've got seven hidden Mickeys. Ooh, I don't see any more. Wait, this one is sneaky. Can you see in the middle of the top there? That's a Mickey. So we have eight. Maybe the others are on the side somewhere. Oh, there's the hidden five-legged goat we there. We found three more. There's one at the side there. There's one there at the side. And then there's one oh, up there at the side. So there is one left that we can't see. Where's the goat? Leo said there was a goat. It's to the left of that back left spire. You have to come and Where? Oh, oh, I see. There's the hidden goat. But there's one hidden Mickey somewhere that we just can't find. This sign, which is right next to the gingerbread house, just tells you a bit more about it. Like how long it took to build, how much it took. 439 jars of honey. That is a lot of honey. 4,000 castle gingerbread bricks by 40 baker cast. And last but not least, 12 sprinkles of magic pixie dust. I just missed recording Leo serenading me. <laughs> we got a Pluto bus. Two hours later. 
last you saw we were coming to Disney Springs. We need that SpongeBob two hours later thing. We're now leaving Disney Springs. I mainly wanted to come and film the big world of Disney Store. Um, it's gone dark now as well. But we're going to nip into Uniqlo just because Leo wants to have a look at a couple of things. Then we're going to go back to the resort. Probably grab maybe just like a small snack. Oh, the floor changed. It went from like hard floor to the kind of grainy stuff. I feel like you could spend thousands in this place. on that bush journey back but I feel like I could just fall asleep it's effort to keep my eyes open so it's only about it's not even eight o'clock yet right now it's half past seven I'm signing off for the night I don't know what's going on but I think I just need some sleep meeting Ariel though she was perfect actually let me grab the lounge fly she did sign it for me right there in the middle I like how it, it's like you can see it but it's subtle enough that it doesn't really stand out and take away from the backpack too much. It was such an amazing interaction with Ariel, it was perfect. All we're going to do for the rest of the night now is grab the reusable cups and just go and grab a drink, come back and just chill. Tomorrow is, what, it, what even day is it right now? It's Monday the 4th of December right now, so tomorrow is Tuesday the 5th of December. That's an Epcot day and I have a feeling something in my head is sparking that there's new fireworks tomorrow and they are unveiling the new Walt Disney statue just behind Spaceship Earth. I'm pretty sure that's going on, but honestly, I'm a little bit too tired to be certain. If there is a new fireworks show, you've pro that video has probably already been up. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video tomorrow. Elsa bound. And I'm gonna go meet Elsa. Or Figment, I haven't fully settled. I'm leaning more towards Elsa. We have two more Epcot days. One will be Elsa, one will be Figment. I might just decide in the morning, but right for right now, I'm still leaning towards Elsa. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!